Hi, my name is Bill Robertson and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series that explores the physical science concepts found in skateboarding and BMX. In this video segment, Forces, you will learn about various types of forces, what they do, and how they help riders perform tricks and maneuvers, both on skateboards and on bikes. So let's get moving and go with Forces. There are other forces that skateboarders and BMX riders need to manage in order to land cool tricks and maneuvers. Two of those forces are centripetal and centrifugal forces. Centripetal force means center seeking. This is the force that moves a body along a curved path. It is directed towards the center of a curve on a path. Centripetal force is a real force. Centrifugal force means to flee from the center. This is the force felt by a body moving along a curved path with the tendency of an object to go in a straight line. Centripetal force is a perceived force. The differences between centripetal and centrifugal forces can best be demonstrated in skateboarding by analyzing 360 degree spins and identifying the forces that act upon it. When a rider goes into multiple 360s, the centripetal force pushes in on the rider. The experienced rider compensates for this force by using his or her body to balance the force and continue in a spinning motion. As the rider is spinning, a centrifugal force acts on the rider and wants to displace him from the rotation. In order to manage the force, the rider must stay centered over the board and on the axis of the wheels. You can try this on your own as you spin around. Get a tennis ball or a skateboard wheel and let it go while you spin. What forces are acting upon it? and which direction does it go when you turn it loose? If the rider wants to spin faster, often it is most beneficial to bring their arms in toward the body. And to slow down, the rider does the opposite, moving their arms out. What is this concept? It is called the moment of inertia and is defined by knowing the mass of an object and the length of the radius associated with the spin. In other words, the closer the mass is to the center or axis, the less the moment of inertia. And the farther the mass from the center or axis, the greater the moment of inertia. In the previous example, which rider do you think had the greatest moment of inertia, given that they weigh about the same? Why do you think this to be so? The BMX rider has a greater radius in the spin, which translates to a greater moment of inertia. So a rider will spin faster with their arms tucked in and slower with their arms pushed out. Arms in means a smaller moment of inertia, and arms out translates to a higher moment of inertia. 